DJI Transmission Tutorial Video – First Use In this video, we will show you the first use of DJI Transmission with the DJI Transmission Combo. Open the protector case. You will see a video transmitter, a high bright remote monitor, a WB37 intelligent battery, and a WB37 battery charging hub. Other accessories include remote monitor hood, WB37 Battery Adapt TX, NPF Battery Adapt TX, NPF Battery Adapt RX, USB-C to LEMO power cable, RS gimbal mounting plate, USB-C cable, SDI cable, DC power cable, DC to PTAP power cable, and an installation toolkit. DJI Video Transmitter. The DJI Video Transmitter comes with two types of power adapt, respectively compatible with the standard WB37 intelligent battery and third-party NPF batteries. Here, we use the WB37 battery adapter, TX, for demonstration. Remove the protective rubber on the back. Mount the WB37 battery adapt TX to the back of the video transmitter and tighten two M4 times 12 screws. Insert the WB37 intelligent battery into the battery slot and push it to the end. Make sure that the battery release button pops up and makes a clicking sound, indicating the battery is firmly in place. Activation. Before using for the first time, connect to a computer for activation. Press the power button once. When both the status indicators and the screen are on, the equipment is powered on. For your first use, select the system language. Connect the video transmitter to a computer using a USB-C cable. Launch DJI Assistant 2 Ronin series. And log in with your DJI account. Select the device and follow the instructions to activate. Insert the WB37 Intelligent battery into the battery slot of the remote monitor and push it to the end. Make sure that the battery release button pops up and makes a clicking sound, indicating the battery is firmly in place. Press the power button once to turn on the device. Activate the remote monitor following the steps mentioned. Firmware Update When there is a new firmware version available, connect the remote monitor to a computer, launch DJI Assistant 2 Ronin series, and click Firmware Update. You can view the current firmware version and all available firmware. Select the firmware version you need and click Update. When the progress bar is fully filled, click Complete to finish the update. There are four antennas on the top and both sides of the video transmitter. On the left side, from top to bottom, are the power button. Press the power button once to turn on the video transmitter. Press and hold to power off. Display screen. Check video transmission status and change settings. Menu dial. Enter a settings menu and confirm settings. Turn the dial to change settings item. Press and hold to enter linking status. Back button. Press to return to the previous screen. On the top right corner of the video transmitter are the video status indicator and linking status indicator. On the right side of the video transmitter, from top to bottom, are SDI output port and SDI input port, which are respectively for outputting and inputting SDI signals. HDMI port for connecting to HDMI signal, USB-C port for connecting to a computer for activation and firmware updates. DC in port. You can use a USB-C to LEMO cable to connect the video transmitter to RS3 Pro or RS3 to get power supply. The power output port on the front of the video transmitter can be used to connect the video transmitter directly to a V-mount battery adapter on the camera via third-party adapter plate for integrated power supply of the camera and video transmitter. Two quarter-inch 20 screw holes and one 3 8 inch screw hole on the bottom can be used for fixing or mounting the video transmitter. The upper left corner on the home screen shows the video signal input status. A white camera icon shows there is video signal input while a red camera icon shows there's no signal input. Power supply voltage shows the voltage of the battery or the DC in power input. The number in the center of the screen is the device number for you to quickly distinguish video transmission signals of different transmitters. It's recommended to keep it consistent with the corresponding camera. Video transmission signal quality and connection status. Control mode displays the connection status between the receiver and transmitter and the signal quality. There are four statuses, including connected, green, weak signal, yellow, strong interference, red, and disconnected, gray. Broadcast code and channel, broadcast mode. When broadcast mode is enabled, 
It displays the universally unique identifier of the transmitter. On the home screen, press the menu dial on the video transmitter to enter the menu. Rotate the dial to scroll through the setting items and press once to enter the submenu. Device number. Press the dial to set device number. Turn the dial to switch between AP and press the dial to confirm. Broadcast mode. Press the dial to enter the submenu for turning on or off the broadcast mode. Turn the dial to select and press to confirm. When broadcast mode is enabled, turn the dial to select channel. The screen then displays the video transmitter code and channel code. Broadcast image quality. Press the dial to set broadcast image quality. Select between HD and smooth. Press the dial to confirm. Language. Press the dial to enter language setting. Turn the dial to select language and press the dial to confirm. Video transmission status. Shows the linking status between the transmitter and Hybrite remote monitor in control mode. Device info. Shows the SN code and firmware version.